Hi parents, I'm Kazumi. And I'm Grayson. Welcome to the Back to School Net edition of DP News. Our show airs every Monday, Tuesday, and Friday at the beginning of third period, and you can watch us at home on public access television, as well as online at dpnews.org, where there's a live stream for you to watch. So sit back and relax, because DP, DP News, News starts, starts now. now. In order to be successful in school, students must be in class on time. In the student parking lot, there are two entrances, one off Cathedral Oaks and one off Alameda. When entering from Cathedral Oaks, make sure you don't drive straight through the EPAC. You must go all the way around, then pull as forward as you can. And when entering from Alameda, just go straight, then exit by turning right onto Cathedral Oaks. You can drop off your kids along the Alameda, or if you drop off your students in the bus loop, the same rules apply. Pull forward as far as you can go, and when exiting, turn right onto Alameda. To ensure that things go smoothly when dropping off your students, be prepared to exit before the car stops. Remember that hundreds of cars are trying to get through in the morning, so be considerate of others. Thank you. Once your student is safe on campus, there are so many activities for him or her to perform in. Uh, we have over 40 clubs and activities, as well as over 30 sports teams. One of these programs continues to amaze students and local audiences. Have you ever wondered how Neverland began? The Lost Boys, Tinkerbell, who Captain Hook was before he lost his hand, and how a boy became Peter Pan. Come see a DP theater company in this magical, hilarious, and truly touching performance of Peter and the Starcatcher, the journey to an adventure we all know and love. DPTC's third pilot production for Disney Theatrical will have performances November 13th through 15th. So set aside November 13th through 15th to come see this amazing production. Tickets will be available online at the DPHS website. And for the first time, Charger Cards will allow you free access to matinees as well as discounts on other shows. That's right, Kazumi. And the Charger Cards do so much more. $130 will get you access to a world-class yearbook that is 360 pages long. You get free entrance to all the matinee shows at our theater, as well as discounts to the others. You also get discounts to dances at the school and free access to every single regular season home game. It's a lot of money you can save for your family, and you should really do it. You can order them online at the DP Web Store. You can order them in the athletics office or right here in the business office as well. And parents, there's a pass for you too. If you would like free access to all home regular season games, buy the Charger Athletic Pass for $100, or if you need to, it's only $50 more. With this pass, you can avoid waiting in those really long lines and go straight through the new pass gate. Go online to the DPH website under Athletics to get your pass today. <laughs> this is the second year of our school's modified block schedule, which gives your student the opportunity to go to their teacher and uh, finish any extra quizzes or makeup tests or just have uh, the teachers answer any questions that they might have about their class. If you have any questions about your student seminar class, please feel free to go outside of the library where Robin Selzler, the director of seminar, will be there to help you and assist you with anything you might need. Being involved in school also means being informed. To keep track of what's going on, we have built a complete web page with calendars and announcements. You can also follow DPHS on Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. Being a part of our school gradebook and information system called NEO, formerly EDU, will allow you to um, receive messages and keep up on your students' grades. Have your student click on NEO and log into their account. Go to Users, Invite Parents, and put in your information. You will get an email that asks you to confirm and accept your invitation, and then it will give you instructions on how to log in. Sports are not the only way to get involved. The PTSA stands for Parent Teacher Student Association, and they need you to donate your time, energy, and money into supporting programs like the Staff Request Fund. Basically, the Staff Request Fund will take your money, put it directly back into the classrooms, paying for supplies, technology, and other various school activities. Merci, PTSA. Thank you, PTSA. Thank you, PTSA, for all you do for Dos Pueblos High School. So a big thank you to all those involved, and we hope that more parents, teachers, students, and staff will join to support. For more information, you can go to their website at dphsptsa.com. Another program that the PTSA is involved in is Beautify DP, where once a month on Saturday morning, this school will be cleaned up and made beautiful 
by the parents, teachers, and students of DP. You can look online to find more information about that on the main website. That's all the news we have for you tonight. Once again, I'm Kazumi. And I'm Grayson. Have, have a, a great, great night. night.